Portions of the Schoharie Bridge continued to fall hours after it initially gave way. The collapse sent cars and a tractor trailer plunging into the raging floodwaters below. Just how many lives and vehicles were lost remains unknown. We have one witness that tells us four cars, one tractor trailer. We have another witness that tells us one tractor trailer, one car. It sounded like lightning struck when the bridge went out. And then it just collapsed from there. Witnesses say it was all over in 15 minutes. The eastbound lane went first. For the drivers of these trucks, it was a very close call. Just crashed me out when it went down. Plenty of police and rescue crews arrived ready to help. But the waters were moving too quickly, and the risk was too great. All they could do was clear the area of traffic and keep the curious a safe distance away. The governor arrived to survey the damage and watched as still more of the 400-foot span came tumbling down. We don't know exactly what caused the collapse of the span. Uh, we're going to be very cautious about this. And uh, any bridge that the state police see or the Department of Transportation or the thruway see that uh, they regard as uh, something to be avoided for the time being, we're going to avoid it. Now, there will be a lot of unhappy people and there will be a lot of detours, uh, but so be it. All of the other bridges along Schoharie Creek were closed since 6 a.m., including this one at Mill Point, which appears ready to give. Residents here want to know why this bridge wasn't also closed down. If there was any thought whatsoever that this bridge was in danger, this, this road would have been closed.